SDS2 Connect can automatically calculate the shear and moment loads to be applied to a connection based on the web shear, uniform allowable load, and the max allowable moment. Users can also input the end reactions required manually. To determine how the automatic load is calculated, let's take a look at setup and design criteria. The automatic design load section is what we will focus on. The first option is base beam design reaction percent. This is determining the percentage of uniform allowable load or maximum web shear, whichever is selected for the next option, base beam design reaction on. As an example, we can look at a W18 by 40 beam with a span of 20 feet. Looking at Table 3-6 in the AISC 13th edition, this beam has a uniform allowable load of 78.2 kips. 50% of this equals 39.1 kips, which is what we see in the end connection. The next option to look at in setup is again found in design criteria. Base beam design moment on percent of maximum allowable moment determines what percentage of the maximum moment to apply to end connections. To determine this, SDS2 Connect uses a formula to calculate the maximum moment and then applies the percentage that we have entered here. If a moment connection is applied to the beam being looked at previously, we should see the calculated load of negative 1995.9 kip inches. Users have the option of seeing the moment loads in kip inches or kip feet. This is also found in design criteria. So by changing this to KIP feet and then taking a look at the end connection again, we can see that we no longer have negative 1995.9 KIP inches. This is in KIP feet. The connection capacity of the design connection is also displayed at the right of the input load. Keep in mind users can also uncheck the auto box next to the shear and moment loads and input any required loads. Minimum setup connection is the last option to look at during this video and can also be found in setup under design criteria. If minimum setup connection is turned on, SDS2 Connect will design a connection using the values found in Schedule of Minimums and No More. As an example, the W18 by 40 beam that has been used for this currently has four rows of bolts. However, the minimum number of rows is three, as we can see in the Schedule of Minimum for single plate shear connections. Since I turned minimum setup connection on, I will edit the beam connection, take note of the auto load that SDS2 calculates, 39.1 kips, and the maximum capacity of the connection, 42.4 kips. Click OK and this redesigns the connection. Notice there are now only three rows of bolts. Edit the connection again and notice the auto load is only 31.8 kips for the input and 31.8 kips for the maximum capacity. SDS2 Connect simply added the minimum connection and we see the capacity for that. Users can also override this option for specific connections 
by using the minimum setup connection option in the connection edit window. Also, if auto is unchecked, the minimum setup connection will not apply. And SDS2 will design the connection for the input load. Thank you for watching the SDS2 Connect automatic loads tutorial.